Alrighty, welcome back to We Need Trades. This will be the third game plan for 2021. So these game plans, they're just stocks with really good setups that I think I'm looking to trade for the next week. So this isn't financial advice. This is just my plan for the stocks I want to trade. So normally I had to go over the last week's game plan results. So last week we said to go long on CGC, just over $31 a share, targeting about the 34 slash 35. Well, from $31 a share, boom, you got a nice good 12% in one week. CGC was a really good trade for us this week. CGC did the deal. Last week we said to go long on Peloton, a nice good dip buy at about 150. Well, Peloton from 150 through all time highs, boom. There's 14.5%, 15% option contracts went from $200 to over $2,000, somewhere in that ballpark, depending on the option that you selected. So Peloton was a really nice trade for us last week from uh, $150 a share. Our uh, last, our, and then we also said last week to go long. I was going long over on AMD over $96 a share. Well, AMD from $96 a share, we said to target about the 99. Boom, small little 3% gain. We did try to stay in a little bit heavy on AMD, so AMD was a stop out later in the week, but that's okay. You know, we got our partial and put the money in the pockets, and that's what we like to do. Um, load in, load out, and then break even on the second half or small loss on the second half. So that was last week's game plan. Super fun, super good. This week, we're looking to short, I'm looking to short the SPY underneath 374. And I'm just going to be targeting something about like the 371 or maybe 369 on the SPY. That is if SPY is um, continuing its sell-off. Otherwise, I'm just going to be focusing on individual stocks. When the, when the market sells off, correlations start to sync up. And I'd rather just short the SPY than short individual stocks unless I have a particularly weak name that we're looking at on the day. So that'll be SPY this week. This week, I'm looking to dip buy target target was kind of got out of our hands we we've been preaching target uh for from about 170 boom we took profits at 190 but target just kept on going without us that's okay we're just looking i'm looking for a dip buy right around the 192 area maybe 190 maybe as low as 188 and 187 area and that'll be the dip buy for target otherwise an extreme sell-off i'd love to get target for 181.50 probably about 180 is where a lot of buyers will line up and boom i think target's intrinsic value is a much higher well above 200 dollars a share so target any shares that i can get on a dip i'm gonna enjoy so that'll be target this week this week i'm also looking to go long on beyond just on a breakout over 145 that'll be the breakout move otherwise i don't mind dip buying beyond at about 130 looking for a swing trade but if i am doing the breakout over 145 i'm gonna have to take my profits quickly because beyond's better as a day trading stock than a swing trading stock so i'm looking for a move up to 150 and i'll know i'm definitely wrong on beyond if we're closing daily beneath 128 something like that that would mean beyond is putting in lower highs and lower lows and i do not want to be in something that is making lower highs and lower lows on the daily chart and our last stock that I'm looking to trade this uh, week is Uber, Oobs. Oobs is a nice good uh, nice good uh, breakout earlier, and now we're coming to test the former breakout area. So Oobs is just making new all-time highs. Stocks that make all-time highs tend to continue to make all-time highs for quite a ways away. So Uber, I'm looking to go long, just over $56 a share. So right now we're at $55.50. I'm going to be going long, just over $56 a share. I'm going to have a stop as a daily close underneath 55 so using about a dollar wide stop loss, looking to take some short term profits, maybe at 57.50, maybe as high as 58.50. And if we can consolidate a little bit more and base up, I'll look to add to Uber and then raise my stop loss. So that'll be this week. Uh, super tight game plan, not gonna swing trade too much, just gonna be day trading a lot more since the overnight sessions are becoming a little bit more unpredictable. So we're gonna be in a little bit more cash at the end of the day. So let's get ready for next week. Be sure to catch us at Weenie Trades Live. Let's get to 200 subs on the regular Weenie Trades channel. So super, super good milestones. Let's get excited. Let's get ready for next week. And uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Alrighty, thanks for tuning in. See ya.